Hello, this is Barry, Kilowatt United 3 X-Ray. We're set up with another radio today in Franco Park. Today is the Yezu FT897D with the 500 Hz CW filter. And right now it's set at 50 watts. Right now you hear sending is Kilo 4 Juliet Victor Kilowatt. And he's talking to K4 Juliet Echo Echo. And I'm using a different antenna this time. If you saw my ICOM with the little portable vertical antenna on back of the rig, uh, this one is modified. It's a little bit different. Uh, first of all, we have the old clock over there with Greenwich time and the CW paddles. And there's the battery, 17 amp hour gel cell. And today's antenna is vertical and it's table mounted. I'll get in the back here. We'll come back from the radio and you see the cable coming back from the radio and there's the RF choke and there's the base you can clamp that on the table makes for a nice portable uh, antenna and this antenna has over 3 dB increase in performance uh, compared to the vertical antenna on back of the IC703 and there's four ground radials going out two of them are 36 feet long one of them is 11 feet and one one is 36 feet so we're covered for 10 15 I'm sorry, 20, 40, and 15 meters. I work on 10 too, they're just long, doesn't hurt if they're long. They're not tuned radials, they're laying on the ground. Uh, you can see the mast coming up. It's actually a Hustler mast. It's the uh, 22 inch, I think it's called a Mike Oscar-4 mast. It's 22 inches long. And here's the basic loading coil. It's a B&W coil I picked up at a ham fest. Uh, it's 35 microhenries, but you don't need that much. Because if you go right about here, that's, uh, that's 40 meters. So you won't go to 80. This will actually go down to 60 meters if you like. But right now we're tapped for 40 meters. Uh, I have it, I don't know if you can see the red, but there's red there for 40. There's 20, there's 15. 10's on a borderline because it, it's too long. You have to collapse, collapse a telescopic whip. And this whip is from the buddy pole guy. It's nine and a half feet, telescopic. See it going all the way up to the top. And it goes up into the tree just about. <laughs> and we'll come back down again. But that whip collapses to uh, less than 22 inches. So what you can do is put the, the mast and the whip in a little tube that the uh, whip got shipped in and carry it with you. And everything unscrews, the coil unscrews. Right here it unscrews, right here it unscrews. It's very easy to make, there's nothing to it. If you get a good look at it, it's nothing more than a, uh, an antenna mount you can buy uh, at any shop and there's one on the bottom that's upside down same thing screws into the mast and again the same thing on the bottom and I, I have a screw tapped right here because I'm going to shunt an inductor or a capacitor across here because right now the SWR is around 1.6 to 1 on uh, 40 meters and that's not too bad it's a little high on 20 so the impedance of the antenna the feed point impedance of the antenna is rather low and that's the reason for the mismatch. It's not that it's not performing and not a good antenna. Uh, actually, if it was perfect one-to-one, -one, I'd say there's something wrong because it should not be a 50 ohm feed. Vertical antennas normally aren't. Uh, this is lower than 50 ohm. So you shun a capacitor or an inductor across the part, across the base, and then you can move the tap up, up or down, one or two taps, and you could probably get this thing down to one-to-one. -to -one. If not, you can use a tuner. Once you're close, you're close. Once the antenna's resonant, it's resonant, so there's not much else you can do to it. I'm probably going to cut a little bit of the coil off the bottom because I'm not going to go to 60 meters. That's just wasted inductance. I could actually make another one if I want. Uh, the FT857 I picked up off a friend of mine. And right now, I think I may have said I have it set at 50 watts. And the reason I picked up the 857 was it's a one radio do-all, 160 meters up to 440. And the current drain on this radio for a 100 watt radio is not all that bad. A lot of radios, when you turn the power down from 100 watts down to 5 watts, when you key down, they draw 7.5, uh, 8 amps. Uh, this radio, when you key down at 5 watts out, only draws 4.9 amps. So there's a power savings, and I like that. And even at 100 watts out, it's around 15 amps, which isn't bad. Most other radios are around 18, 19 amps. So it is a power saving. And to go down to 50 watts from 100 watts, it's only a 3 dB loss in signal strength. So the guy on the other end, is only going to see a half of an S unit difference in his S meter. So 50 watts with the 18 amp hour battery that I use, I could have a fun afternoon up here in the park with it. So gives you a little idea of what's going on, some changes. I'll give you a rundown of the radio at another time. Today I just wanted to get out. It's a nice day and set up the vertical and see how it works. 
So for now, 73, hope to see you on the bands. This is Kilowatt United 3 X-Ray. Did it, it, ah, did, ah.